What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim. I'm just outside of Laredo and have I got a treat for you guys. Just on the other side of this Mexican brush is a rest stop. A rest stop like no other. It's gorgeous people. It's designed by some talented Mexican architects. It is my theory. But if everything goes as planned, you guys will get a very cool, smooth, scenic shot of my truck going through that rest area. And but this is how I operate the drone. I put my cell phone in it and I see what the camera sees. And uh, let's take off. This filmmaking exercise has not been without obstacles. Number one, it is freaking windy out here, and that is not ideal for drone flying, people. And I lost connection with it while ago, but I didn't panic and think, oh no, I lost my drone again. I did have to hike back to the area it took off from, but it landed itself, so things are cool. It is windy. Hopefully, there's not a problem and I'll be able to connect. But if it does, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna fly over these uh, show you guys a little bit of this beautiful rest stop. I'll see you on the other side. This is kind of bullshit. I'm not just talking about this insane wind I'm trying to fly in and how I kept losing connection from my drone. Well, as far as the camera connection, anyway. But I thought I was on my way to Smyrna, Tennessee, but I just found out, no, I've got something that's nowhere near as cool as that going on. I've got to turn my ass around, drop this trailer, Pick an empty up that's getting repaired now. Take it uh, somewhere in Laredo for a live load that's going to Houston for a delivery in the morning. Pfft. See, the thing I really like about the Texas fleet is I get to go a day or two here and there without dealing with any customers at all. It's just me and the road, baby. And that's what I like. But that is not today. So, with all that being said... I don't have the time to go in there and show you this rest stop in all its glory. So you got a sneak peek. We'll have to get that in an upcoming video. But we got to go do a few things so we can get back trucking. So let's do it.
I showed you guys the Loves app and how you can use that to fuel instead of, you know, getting out with the notepad and punching a bunch of things in the keypad. And you can do the same thing at Pilot and Flying J. So what we do is go to Trucking Tools, open the Pilot app, but you see at the top it knows exactly where we're at in Texas. I would totally mispronounce that. We're going to start fueling. I'll select my fuel car. We're good on dev, don't need reefer. So we're just getting diesel. But you put all this information in, but guys, I tell you, it's so much easier just having your notebook sitting right here, tapping that into your phone versus getting out at the pump and doing it. But let me know what you guys do in the comments. But we'll submit all that. We're in the home stretch now, just a couple of questions. We don't need anything else. And the difference between Loves and the Pilot app, it gives you this number. The difference is we did not have to put in pump 21. We can fuel at any pump with this number. Now that we've got that, all we do is hop out and punch the number in. And boom, there we go. tell a difference in my windshield I don't clean my windshield every time in the Chevy that I fuel up but I, I generally do in the big truck I hit more bugs and have you guys ever tried to film out of a windshield that's full of bugs it's not very cinematic but I am back on the load that I had to turn around and take back that's going to Smyrna Tennessee uh, you know how it is hot load right that load's got to get there that one for houston well I, the empty i was waiting to get repaired well i didn't have to wait for it to get repaired i went and got an empty somewhere else and right after they finished loading me <laughs> a driver you know it was kind of crazy but i took yesterday as an opportunity to exercise inner peace an opportunity to not be mean to my lady dispatcher yeah so that's what I did I wasn't mean and I stayed calm and it's okay now I'm back on the load I was originally on going to Smyrna Tennessee I'm somewhere in between San Antonio and Laredo right now did not have a big mileage day yesterday at all but I'm sure they'll take care of me on the detention pay or uh, now, however that works they said they would so we will probably be yeah we'll be shutting down somewhere in arkansas today but i'm fueled up got a full clock all we got to do today is drive guys so it's going to be a 600 plus mile day and we'll be going through san antonio austin dallas the arkansas texas line what kind of things would you guys like to see on video i know i've showed a little bit before Actually, we had, what, Dallas a while back. You guys have, haven't really seen Austin, have you? We're on I-35, and we're going to be on it for a while. We're going to take it through San Antonio, Austin, Waco, Dallas. And then around Dallas, we're going to, I believe it's 30. Is it 30? I think it's 30 that we're going to catch through Arkansas to 40 on our way into Nashville, Tennessee, to Smyrna. So, Kentucky, if you're watching this, I'm headed your way, buddy. Maybe we can hang out for a minute. But I believe I've got just enough time. I may need to get a little bit of my own duty time back from yesterday. But I may have enough time to finish this trip and churn and burn and come back to Laredo to do a 34-hour reset in Laredo. Or I might fall a little short and have to do one in San Antonio or something. I don't know. You'll have to stay tuned to find out. But, people, let's get back trucking.
And that's Austin, Texas. But guys, before I wrap up this video, I've got one more crazy story to share. What crazy times we live in, right? Okay, I'm in Clark County, Arkansas. My Omnitrack system has me logged of driving 409 miles today. Not a real impressive day when you're driving across Texas, right? But that makes no sense whatsoever because I had less than a half hour of clock left when, when I shut down here and Catula, I think that's how you say it, to where I'm at is 617 miles away, which that sounds about right. Does anybody have any similar stories where the Qualcomm miles just ain't right? Go figure. I had dinner in the truck again tonight, scrambled up some eggs, put some avocado in it, some cheese, some feta cheese, a little drizzle of olive oil. Did I say avocado? It was in there too, along with bacon. But guys, that's a wrap on this one. I'll see you in the next episode. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.